What's up you guys, my name is Harry Egan and welcome to my channel and welcome to a segment I like to call Organization For You. Um, a little bit about me, I'm a senior at Berklee College of Music in Boston, Massachusetts and this is my first time ever YouTubing or vlogging or anything like that, literally talking to myself in a camera. Um, so I've had the privilege over the past year to be a core music tutor at Berkeley College of Music. And all that means is that I get to work as a tutor with students in core music classes at Berkeley, such as like ear training and harmony, music theory, arranging, all those things like that. And I was thinking it would be great if we had a resource for organization. Here's one resource that you can use to help get yourself organized with classes and school work and just have techniques to just like, you know, get through the day a little bit easier. I think for a lot of us in college, you know, we're finally getting to do the thing in school that we love to do. You know what I mean? We're going to choose our major, our path in life that we love doing. Or even if you don't know what you want to do yet, it's this time we get to figure it out. And that's awesome. I personally thought the best way that we could start this channel would be to show you a way that I organize myself on a daily basis. And that's based off of a planner that I created. This is the template that I created. So... Basically what I did is I actually watched a ton of other YouTube vloggers, how they stay organized. I looked up a bunch of planners on Pinterest. I talked to a lot of my friends. I looked at what I just do on a daily basis. And basically I created this one personal customizable planner template for organization just for each day. But the thing about it, the whole point of this is like, this is like what works for me and i want this to be more of a resource like this doesn't mean like oh like you have to do exactly this if you want to stay organized or like you have to do exactly what i do that's not it at all i think for me i just would love for this to be a resource for other students to look at and be like maybe i'll take one thing from this or i'll take all of it or i'll just take the tiniest bit if you can take anything from this that would be awesome college is all about just getting to do what you want to do you know what i mean you're finally in this place where you're not in elementary school or high school and they're telling you you have to do this specific homework like you still have homework in college but it's in classes that you like or in the major that you choose it's kind of exciting so i think it would be amazing if we can get all those barriers out of the way so you can really just focus on what you want to do that'd be awesome so here it is basically it's broken up into a couple different things but i always think the best thing to do is to start with some sort of positive thought question goal. And by the way, I know this is kind of hard to see, so I'm gonna link this below. Best thing to start with is some sort of quote, positive thought that gets you going for the day. You know, just anything. Sometimes mine is literally just like 10,000 hours from the Malcolm Gladwell Outliers book. Like that just pumps me up for the day. And then underneath, we start with pretty much the basic thing that every planner, to-do list, any sort of thing starts with today's tasks. And with your today's task, you can do anything you want with it. Do you know what I mean? For me personally, when I'm making a list, I just like to spitball and just write down everything. Like just get it all out of my brain and onto paper because it makes me feel better about doing it. But there's different ways that you can do it. And I made a couple of examples that I'll put in the description below that you can look like if you want to make your today's tasks like, you know, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. I do this. 9 a.m. to 11, I'm in class, you know what I mean? Or you can just like spitball, like my first thing was like, you need to write your art history paper. And that was just like top, even though that's not how I'm gonna start my day, I just like need to get that out of the way. It's whatever works for you. Then I think it's super important if you're making a plan for the day, this can also be a plan for like a weekend or the week, have something, a couple things like not school related, have some things like you don't need to do for school. Like for me, that's why I really like this one. It says email, text, respond back to. That'll literally be me like, oh, I have to reach out to this friend because I want to get coffee with them. Like I put that there. Like I'm going to get coffee with Susan. I think it's super important to have those there because those are also really important things. Or emailing your teacher being like, hey, can I come to office hours on Thursday? You know what I mean? Anyways, then I think also going on like the non-school vibe for a quick second. Two personal goals for the day. Two personal goals for the day, I always think it's whatever is works for you. A personal goal for me the other day was I'm going to walk to school rather than take the train. I just think that's super fun. And I really started my day off nicely accomplishing a personal goal. Well, some of my personal goals are like, I'm going to make my bed before I leave the house. Or like, I'm going to have like 15 minutes where I'm going to like watch a YouTube vlog and drink coffee. Like, it can be anything you want. If it's not school related, I think that can be really helpful. But, you know, maybe a personal goal for you is like, I'm going to get my homework done earlier so I can like 
watch TV or I can go to the movies with my friends. You know what I mean? It can be anything that you want. And I always think that really helps when you have something that's yours, something that's nobody else's. Like, it's not like for school. It's like, this is what I'm doing for the day because it's my day. I get to do what I want with it. Getting to the end of this thing. Can you three ambitious goals? Three ambitious goals for the day. I'm personally somebody that gets really caught up in my own schedule, in my own day. And like, I can get kind of stressed out just like, oh, I can only think about Tuesday. And then like, I can't even like imagine what's going to happen on Friday. You know what I mean? So I think three ambitious goals is helpful because it kind of shows you like, hey, here's what you got to get done today. And you got to respond back to these people and you got your own two personal goals today. But three ambitious goals I think is great because it's like, you don't have to get them done. If you go to sleep that night and they're not done, that's okay because they're the ambitious goals. An example of one for me is like, we have like, I'm in a class right now where midterms are three weeks from now. And we have a paper due for midterms based on off of a film that we watched in class. And we watched the film like two weeks ago. And I still like remember the important stuff, but like it's definitely like dwindling a little bit. So like an ambitious goal I have for tomorrow is to make, just like to outline some of the important themes of the film because I know the paper is not due for another three weeks. I know if I just make an outline of the themes I want to talk about in the paper, that'll really help. It can also not be school related. You know what I mean? Like maybe it's like, you know, it's February right now. Maybe it's like, I'm going to start looking for an internship for the summer. That can be an ambitious goal. Cause like, if you don't get it done to the, for the day, it doesn't mean it's never going to happen, but it can really help from where you are. Last thing about this office hours, school reminders. Hello, there you are. Office hours and school reminders super important i love office hours i think it's awesome that we have the opportunity to go talk to teachers but i've noticed with office hours like i always want to go and ask questions but when i don't prepare beforehand i don't have the right questions even though i know i'm still like kind of confused on this material and everything like that so like i like to put an office hour like when i'm doing like my tuesday plan for the day and i know i have an office hour on thursday so sometime before thursday if you can just put on your office hours list like hey I'm just gonna start the homework so I know what my questions are. So on Thursday, I have direct questions I can ask. Also school reminders, like there's a pizza luncheon tomorrow at the career center. Like I'm gonna go to that, you know what I mean? Or like for me, it's like, we have a lot of shows at our school. We have this thing called calf shows, which are on every night at 10 PM. And like a ton of my friends are always playing in a calf show on different nights. So I'll always be like, hey, let's get all your work done before 9.45 so you can be at the calf show to support your pal. The last part of any, I think important plan for the day is a positive thought for the day. I think it's super important to end your day with some sort of positive sort of positive thought like, hey, good job, good for you. You did it. You know what I mean? Even if you didn't get everything done, you can just move it to the next day. Or like, hey, it's actually not that important. I don't need to do this. But I think it's always important to finish your day by writing something positive. Like for me, like I got a text from my mom that just had a heart in it. So I just wrote that. Ending your day with some sort of positive thought because here's the deal, you made a to-do list. That's already a positive thought. You already did that. You're looking out for yourself. I think with this template, it's all about just like taking a minute for yourself and being like, I want to enjoy the day as much as possible. So this is what I'm going to do to spend it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for checking out my channel. Please remember to subscribe if you want to be a part of the different things that are going to be happening. You know, this is like not about me. This is a resource for all of you. So please comment or like, I'm going to link like my Instagram or my website, everything like that. So please like, feel free to message me and be like, Hey, like, I really want to see this on the channel. Hey, I'm really struggling with this. Hey, I like this. Can we do more of this? Anyways, this is the first video. This is all about just making a resource for all of you. So thank you so much for checking in. This is Harry Egan, and this has been Organization for You.